Alright, hello guys, and um, today we're going to be making some chicken drumsticks and we're just going to crumb them. And at the end we're going to stick on a little bit of basil and some garlic and it should be fantastic. Now firstly what we've got here is just some drumsticks that I'm in the process of removing the knuckles. Um, this isn't a crucial step, but it really helps with the overall presentation at the end. And um, yeah, so what we're going to do is just cut around the bone just below where the meat finishes and you'll be scoring the bone with a sharp knife um, once you've done this you can get your fingers out of the way and position your knife on the bone and then just give it a good whack with your hand and the drumstick should be cut straight down the center and you're left with a knuckle and the meat section of the drumstick so do this to all your uh, drumsticks and we can move on to the next stage in order for our breadcrumbs to actually stick to the chicken drumsticks, we're going to need something for them to stick to. So what we're going to do is just grab three large eggs um, and we're just going to whisk them until they get to a nice um, smooth consistency. And later on our chicken drumsticks are going to be dipped in this and then chucked in some breadcrumbs. Now comes an important part on the whole process is our breadcrumbs. Now I've selected some nice coarse breadcrumbs. Um, you might find that the finer breadcrumbs just really don't have too much substance to them. So I've gone with the coarse breadcrumbs. Now all we're going to do is lightly salt the breadcrumbs and with a bit of pepper. And if you would like, you don't need to, I've also just stuck in a small teaspoon of paprika. It'll give it a nice colour in the end, a nice golden colour once it's uh, cooked in the oven. So we're just going to just give it a nice shake around and make sure it's sort of incorporated before we uh, put our chicken into it. Brilliant. Now we want to arrange our egg mixture, our chicken and our breadcrumbs in a nice little conveyor belt. Um, so we go from chicken to egg to breadcrumbs and to a plate. So just as easy as it looks, grab your chicken drumstick, coat it fully in the egg mixture, put it into the breadcrumb mixture and roll around until it's completely coated in breadcrumbs. Stick it on your plate, uh, it's ready for the oven. So just do this for all your other chicken drumsticks and uh, we can get it ready for the oven. Meanwhile you can have the oven preheated to 180 degrees so it's ready to go as soon as we finish this. Now if you want to be in the good books of the person doing the dishes what you want to do is put down some grease proof paper onto our pan so there's not some gnarly leftover chicken um, stuck straight to the pan when you finish cooking it. So we're just going to put all our chicken drumsticks onto this pan and then whack it into the oven at 180 degrees. And you want to cook these for roughly 50 to 60 minutes or until the outside coating of breadcrumbs has gone a nice golden colour. Now as with all chicken you can check whether it's cooked by stabbing it with a sharp object and seeing if the juice that comes out runs clear or if it runs pink and needs a little bit longer in the oven. So Midway through you got of the cooking time you can rotate your chick drumstick so the other side gets a nice crispy side as well. So this is what we're doing here. And then put it back in the oven for the rest of the cooking time and at the end of it you should have some brilliantly cooked crumbed chicken drumsticks. Now while your chicken's still in the oven you can prepare your garlic and basil garnish that you're gonna stick it on afterwards. So what I've got here is three melted tablespoons of butter along with three cloves of garlic, just in a small um, bowl. Now all we're going to do is grab a large handful of basil, chop it quite coarsely, and then we're going to stick it in and mix it around. It should be essentially a basil and garlic infused butter, uh, melted butter. So when the chicken comes out of the oven, when it's nice and cooked, all we're going to do is drizzle this across the top of it in its serving pan and um, you're away laughing and you should have some very nice chicken drumsticks that you can serve up to your family, friends or even flatmates to impress. So there you have it, um, I hope you've enjoyed it, um, keep your eyes posted for some more videos in the future. Thanks for watching.